Uh, my name is Peter Dalmaris. I am an educator primarily and uh, secondarily I am a maker. Essentially what I do is I create online video educational courses, uh, also I write books and the content of those courses and books uh, has to do with maker education or technological education. It's a kind of education that people will be interested in if they want to learn how to do programming, electronics and create projects. So that uh, is uh, not a very easy question because there's a couple of ways I can go about this. So the first one is as an educator, the latest thing that I made was a new course that I published over the weekend. So in this course I teach people how to work and make things with this microcontroller, the ESP32. It's one of my favorite, if not my favorite microcontroller. Uh, so, in other words, uh, this new course is the last thing that I made. But if I want to put in my maker hat on instead of the educator hat, then the latest thing that I made is this gadget here, uh, which is an Internet of Things gadget. It contains an ESP32 at the back, a touch screen at the front, and a few sensors, communicates with the internet to send data over and record the data on a database somewhere on the internet and then I can process the data and display it in a chart and do uh, various types of operations on the data. So I'm pretty happy about that project and that is my latest um, large scale, I'd say, uh, thing that I have made. From a high level, this bench is my favorite piece of equipment, if I can call this equipment. This is where I do all of my work. But if I have to select a single item on this bench, then I'd go for my oscilloscope. So this device here allows me to probe into electronics and measure various aspects of the operation of whatever is it that I am uh, dissecting or trying to learn about. It's a similar thing to an, an x-ray for a doctor or an, an MRI, a magnetic resonance imaging machine for a doctor. So for an engineer this oscilloscope is what a x-ray machine is for a doctor and it's my favorite piece of equipment. I've already mentioned my Internet of Things ESP32 based gadget. It's something that I really, really like. But beyond that, um, about maybe a year, a year and a half, maybe two years actually ago, time flies, I made this little contraption here. This contains a Raspberry Pi again with a touch screen. It's like, in a way, a Swiss army knife for my bench. So I use it to control certain aspects of my workbench's operation. Of course it collects environmental data. Uh, there's always going to be an environment sensor pretty much in everything that I make. So that's the environmental data about my bench right now in my lab environment. There's a camera that I can use to take pictures. At the moment that camera is pointing towards me but the idea is that as I'm working on the bench and I want to keep a record of my work I just take a picture and I can take in table pictures I can get that to automatically take pictures every five and ten seconds and then I have a, a whole movie of uh, whatever it is that I made from zero to the thing being completed and uh, it can also do things like turn the lights on and off and I've got the fume extractor and it controls my soldering iron and other things via relays. So I'm actually very happy with how this came out and the the wooden case that you see here is actually uh, contributed by one of the students of the course of which this gadget is a uh, is the topic of. So this student said hey 
Peter, your original case sucks and I'm going to make you a better one. So he built this from scratch uh, using his uh, 3D printing skills. Awesome. So it just fits perfectly there. So I thought a lot about that. That was the hardest question in the series of questions here because there's so many things that I want to learn. I don't really have a single favorite skill, but after a lot of hard thinking, I concluded to this. I want to become much better in the C and C++ programming language. It's a programming language that is at the, the backbone of a lot of our technology, the, especially the internet, uh, pretty much everything that is important runs on C or C++ and definitely these mark controllers, um, the cameras, the Raspberry Pi operating system, uh, everything really runs on C++ and on top of that we've got easier to learn, faster to learn languages like Ruby and Python. But I want to get to the bottom of this technology stack and understand what uh, is working, what the programming is like at the bottom level. I'm not talking about assembly and machine code, but a bit above that. So I'm already familiar, of course, with C and C++. This is something that I teach in my Arduino courses, but my, uh, uh, I guess, where I want to go is at a much deeper level compared to my current state of knowledge. And uh, uh, that's another thing that I want to say here is that uh, the uh, knowledge that we have uh, increases incrementally. <laughs> we don't just learn something from scratch in one go, but uh, we gradually improve on something that we already know. So uh, just to wrap it up, in my case, what I want to learn much better next is C and the C++ language. Okay, so uh, I guess that's it. I hope that this was useful. Um, my, my, you can get in touch with me uh, if you wish. All my details and contact details are on my website at techexplorations.com and wishing everybody happy making.